And so I'm going to write RT squared, I guess times the pressure, delta H big. This is an equation that now I have. Do you remember how to solve this equation? dy dx, there's a x and a y is here. And this, this differential equation can be solved. Separation of variables. Do you remember that? Okay. So we are, we, are look, we are talking about changing the quantity of pressure, changing the quantity of temperature. So what I'm going to do, separation of variable is something changing the pressure. And it, anything that related to pressure is in one side. Anything that related to temperature in the other side. And then I'm going to just put them together. So pressure is here. So that will be a one over P. And then what about here? I guess uh, RT squared delta HN. So that's what I did. Okay. And then, then what do you, you I think that they, they have this solution form. Mm. Okay. And then I, I want to have something uh, related. So <clears throat> they are using this notation. Uh, we are going to say, we are going to use pressure, this is the vapor pressure, P star to the P. And um, when you have a T star, which is a sort of the reference temperature to any other temperatures. I can do that. And then finally get to the one, I'm gonna write in a big time. This one is show clearly. Natural log P over P star. Right? What about here? This is a integration of one over x dx, right? That's the minus one over x. Right? Oh, it's a one over t with a minus sign in front, right? So therefore, it's a minus R delta H M vaporization. T minus there you go. So that's that's the equation. This is an equation now. I can predict what this equation is about is when you have pressure, vapor pressure, and the temperature. It looks like this, and that's a liquid, and that's a gas, a vapor, and this line. That pressure can be can be predicted if somebody say, oh, well, this is a T star, your reference temperature, and that's your reference vapor pressure, then any temperature along this line can be can be derived this. And the one that affecting it, heat of vaporization, and the changing the temperature is not what you do actually. You are changing one over temperature. Difference in one over temperature is thermodynamically more meaningful. Also, the pressure difference is not, pressure ratio is more meaningful. And that's uh, something that is uh, what's happening here. And the people like to make it this one equation in a different form. Um, and then what, what they're saying is, okay, this is a P, is a P star. Right. Uh, let, me, let me write an intermediate. Can I write this one as a ln p over p star is uh, minus, I just want to put a something symbol chi. Okay. Chi is nothing but the whole thing. Okay, the whole thing. Well, with a, I retain my negative sign there. So therefore, p is p star exponential minus chi. And so that's the one, one relationship that, that people also use it to represent this. 
So that's why this one is looks like a little curve, and then that's a vapor pressure gauge. Any questions? No. no? Okay. I I think that we are you know, halfway through the, our PCAM class. I I wanted to start to develop this kind of an uh, uh, idea. When you're looking at this, okay, when you're looking at that, what you see here is delta H here, right? Right? What what is on the bottom? Now it is R T. Okay? Whether it's a one temperature or the other temperature, but that's the one. This is a what is the unit of this? This is a form of energy. So remember that this is also form of a energy. This is an energy. And this is a sort of a uh, thermal energy term that people usually put. So it is an energy ratio they put it in to start to looking at this. So you know this equation used a lot for predicting the new kind of boiling point at reduced pressure, right? Or you want to do it the other way. If you change the temperature, how humid this room can be, and that's the, that's the one that uh, uh, we use. And so this, this equation now is now Cladius Cladius Clapperian equation. I just call it CC equation, which is the most useful information because you know we've been doing this is also related to distillations and so on. So it, it is an important one how you want to understand this. Okay.